Yeah, but anyways guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is the 22nd, 23rd. It's a Tuesday the 23rd. We are going to be heading to El Paso. I don't know if you can the music as well. We're going to be heading to El Paso tomorrow morning. We're going to be there till Saturday. There's an event we're doing with uh, Powerhouse El Paso. So we're just going to be out there around the gym, you know, having a good time, just chilling in the city of El Paso. I have not been to El Paso in many, many years, actually. Not since my very first meet in 2019. And so today will probably just be more of a vlog style accessory video. Um, Cause who, who doesn't like talking to you guys, you know? But besides that, uh, it's been a decent day so far. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish wrapping up this bench. Um, and then get going to the fun stuff. All right, something that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the spirit of competition, Ooh. right? Like this is something that I feel a lot of people are very, they're mm -hmm. either misunderstand or are misinformed, right? Like they don't truly understand the essence of what it means to compete at heart, right? And for me, this is the first world that I've gone to, maybe besides my first one, where I feel like I'm going to a competition, right? And I'm not saying because it's gonna be close or anything, but it's more so to go prove a point, right? Like my own coach and Ryan Lapidat, you know, I'm, I'm chumming with both of them. Obviously me and Joey are close and I talk to Ryan every time I see him, but they made a few comments in regards to the competition and it made me feel top of way, right? Now, granted, they didn't say anything that was worth taking offense to, but sometimes as an athlete, if something kind of hits you, your ego, the core wrong, it's a skill to weaponize that. And you kind of have to hold on to it, make it a bigger deal, make it personal, really put it into your heart and into your mind and let it take form let it create a shape let it take a life on its own and just follow follow the trail wherever it leads you intuitively instinctively because as men as competitors not just men but as competitors you need to have this ego where it doesn't matter where you go you know in the back of your head that you work so hard that you outwork every single person that you're lining up against. And that's what I want to do. I want to work my ass off to the point where I know that it's not going to be close. And I'm going to make my comment and I'm going to say what I got to say. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to prove. Right? And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Jesus, like, why, why, why? And I'm like, bitch, because I'm a fucking champion. That's the, sh that's the shit that... We believe, not just myself, but my brothers, Pablo, Mikey, like, we're here to work. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, what can I say? You ever seen those? <laughs> Alright, you get back to work.
conclude today's video. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, stuck. We did a good amount of accessories. Bench was okay. Bench was bench was good enough. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I think we hit the marker, and then it's just like accessories pulled through, man. That's just kind of been uh, our mantra, right? But it's not to be mistaken as misconduct, right, or mistreating training, because in my opinion, accessories are probably equally as important as your compounds. I mean, if you're in a rush and you lift heavy enough, then your compound could, in theory, suffice, right? However, to progress and develop a respectable physique to match your strength, accessories are definitely a necessity. Um, but yeah, just how I was talking earlier, guys, it's just uh, the, the mentality to compete, right? To compete, it doesn't necessarily have to be tuned towards a competition, right? An official competition. It can be in the gym, right? Like, who came into the gym today and worked hard? Right? <laughs> Time to drop. Podcast shows. Yeah. Uh, all right. No, I'm just on a podcast. They would be, ca they would be yeah, canceled the first episode, bro. But uh, besides that, guys, it's like, so that's just kind of, I feel like that's something we've always done naturally, right? If one of us is lagging behind, there's two more of us or more to kind of help lift each other up, right? Because there's just a certain, there is a certain threshold of intensity required to reach the goals that we have in mind. There is a certain path that is very narrow to get to where we want to go. It's not for everybody. To do what we want to do, you got to be born with the ability and you have to mold an equal fervor to press, to press through because there's an insurmountable amount of obstacles that are going to count your way, but are you going to be an individual who lets those obstacles knock you down? Are you going to be hypocritical or are you going to shut the fuck up and do what you got to do? Right? Now, there's a caveat to here. And it's just like, you see it every day, man. And that's something that me and my brothers, we try to strive to do. Like, we're not perfect. But to improve oneself, one must be aware of their humanity. One must be aware of their shortcomings. You have to be able to acknowledge what you suck at. And once you can do that, then you can start working on improving in those areas, right? And that just goes to anybody, everyone's individualistic journey, right? Because everybody has a different starting point. Everyone's got different pros, different cons. But if it's one thing that we all go through, it's going to be our own individual battles, right? But that's where you get these group of guys who we're here talking to each other. We're here checking up on each other. And... If it's one thing that we do, whether we like it or not, we hold each other accountable. Stand up for the ones who can't stand for themselves. No bleeds, no bleeds. Okay, that's not. Is that not oh bleeds, no bleeds? No bleeds, no bleeds. Because I'll tell you Nerds. what. If you're the type of guy that follows the crowd, then you'll never, ever walk into the place where you belong. Yeah. That makes sense, right? Because I'll take it. Yeah, guys, that's. Uh, we'll we see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you guys are in El Paso, we're going to edit here, but pick up again tomorrow on the way to El Paso. So if you guys are in the area, we'll be, what's the new gym called? Uh, powerhouse. It'll be a powerhouse gym. Uh, we do have deadlifts and bench later on this week, and then we'll hang out with you guys this weekend as well. So if you guys are in the area, you want to come say what's up. Yeah, but uh, we're going to try to do $50 entry fee. No, it's not going to but uh, a commitment that I want to make to you guys is just putting a little bit more effort into these kind of conversations, right? These segments, because sometimes it is difficult. The serious talk will be at these chairs. Yeah, it's now, it's uh, sometimes it's difficult to capture these moments because usually me and when me and Pablo have these moments with each other, it's with the camera on. So we're gonna try to do a better job of bringing through that transparency and the conversations that we have, right? Whether they're pretty, ugly, or whatever, right? Um, Cause you know, we wanna give you guys the best possible content, but at the same time, 
help you guys realize y'all's real. potential through reality, mm-hmm. right? Because it's not just edits. Yeah, it's, like it's, it would it's... it would be very irresponsible for either of us to be like, hey guys, like subscribe if you guys want to squat nine hundred pounds because the reality is is very slim that you'll ever get to do that. But that should never stop you from being the best you can be. But I think that's enough jibber jabby guys. Oh, and uh, we did recently acquire a nutritionist. So shout out to Cam. Call him Coach Cam. Coach Cam. Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer. So you are Kramer. Yeah, and then uh, we'll, we're going to start linking his stuff. This is our second day working with him. Um, we each have like our own individual macros yeah. and stuff. Uh, this has been... Something me and Pablo have talked about for a long time, and we finally found someone who I think is the right fit for us. He's local, uh, he knows his stuff, and I feel like he meshes really well with me and Pablo, right? Which is that's always important when you're finding a coach or some kind of mentor. You want to have that meshability, right? Um, so you guys are going to start seeing us talk more about these kind of things, and. I'm very excited to see the changes yeah. that we're going to go through and um, how it affects our performance. Um, what are you, seven weeks out now? Really, bro? Yeah. On your phone while we're recording? I'm texting my significant other. This is our job. I think that's all I got to say. Anything else to say? No. No? Sure. Yeah. Anything important you're hiding? Anything important you're hiding, Carlos? No, I'll say you're ready for work. Sure. Oh, yeah, you got to sponsor his lunch. Mm-hmm. You're the sponsor as lunch? True, right now. Cool beans. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. We'll see you guys. <laughs>